So you've probably seen all these influencers online getting sponsored by Surfshark left, right and center. But is it legit? Does it really do what it says on the tin? And is it actually worth your hard earned cash? Well guys, stay tuned for this Surfshark review to find out. Hey guys, and welcome back to Tech Site Reviews, your reliable cybersecurity source. I'm here today to focus only on the pros and cons of Surfshark VPN and a few things I found as a user after using this VPN for around three years now. So time to jump into the Surfshark VPN review, starting with the pros. So one of the most important factors for a VPN is the security and privacy. Now most VPNs offer the same stuff, but Surfshark has some rare features hidden in plain sight. For instance, a no logs policy with RAM only servers. These are servers that don't store data by design and belong 100% to Surfshark. Now these make it impossible to get any data about any Surfshark customer. And as far as servers and connections go, Surfshark has a bunch of other cool features too. You can use their multi-hop feature to chain two servers in succession, which is less speed, sure, but it does give you a lot more security. And we can't forget about camouflage mode and no borders mode. These two allow you to access VPN servers even with firewalls or restrictions installed. And of course, Surfshark also offers a central encryption, which is military grade, but also quite standard among VPN providers these days. So where Surfshark goes above and beyond is with unlimited device connections, meaning you can literally share one single account with as many people as you want. They have no device limits at all. Now there are very few VPNs that offer this, and it is a huge reason many people choose Surfshark. Considering you can get Surfshark for as little as like $1.89 a month, it is easy to see why this is so popular. It is by far the best value for money VPN on the market right now. Another extra point for Surfshark is their apps, all right? So in conjunction with an unlimited device deal, Surfshark lets me install it on every single major device and even some smart TVs, including Amazon Fire Sticks and things like that. And continuing on with devices, most features available on the desktop apps translate very well over into their mobile app as well. Now the only exception is GPS spoofing, as that is actually an Android only feature. Now having tested the apps on pretty much every device possible, I can safely say that they're very easy to use and it's nice that there's a short explanation for most of the features built into the app. Next up, let's talk about speed and specifically the Surfshark WireGuard protocol, which provides one of the most consistently fast connections I have ever seen in a VPN. After three years of using Surfshark, my average speed drops across different servers is only between, I would say 10 and 15%. Now that is ridiculously good for a VPN. Just to compare with ExpressVPN, my speed drops are usually between 20 to 30%, meaning you would get internet speeds almost identical to your baseline speed, uh, which is exactly what we want. But you know what's even better? Not paying full price to anything, including Surfshark. So why don't you go check out that discount link in the description below, which will automatically apply the best current discount available right now. All right, and continuing with some more pros, there's just a few things left to list and they are mostly the features. So like I mentioned earlier, GPS spoofing is available, but on Android devices only. Now, if you don't know what this is, think about playing Pokemon Go with you effectively hopping around the world like a wizard, all right? Yeah, it's a very, very cool feature. Now, the whitelist of feature. Now, the whitelist of feature, AKA split tunneling, is Torrenting's best friend. You can use this to run torrents with a VPN while the rest of your apps run on a normal connection. CleanWeb is their version of an ad blocker and wipes out all those annoying ads and even deals with YouTube ads. So yeah, I honestly pretty much have that on permanently. And they can also block malicious websites should you ever encounter one. And of course, we cannot avoid mentioning streaming. So if you've wondered if Surfshark works with unblocking Netflix from around the world, well guys, I've got news, good news for you. Yes, it does. I use Surfshark to access Netflix libraries, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, BBC iPlayer, and a bunch more too. You can access libraries from all over the world. Just connect to the server you want access to, and boom, you're good to go. And Surfshark's performance on all of these streaming platforms is just as excellent, and I've had no issues at all. Now you might bump into some servers that are blacklisted sometimes, but that's normal because of how much effort Netflix is putting into that lately. But if that does happen, just click on another server and you should be good to go. 
And for streaming enthusiasts, Smart DNS allows the use of VPN on smart TVs as well. Now, of course, I am not going to claim that Surfshark has no cons, right? I'm still yet to find a perfect VPN and Surfshark is no exception. First of all, port forwarding, or more specifically, lack thereof. This feature is quite helpful with improving torrenting speeds, so it would be nice to see it in the future. Next, the Apple issue. So besides the obvious lack of geo-spoofing on iOS, I almost forgot to mention that the iOS Surfshark app also does not have split tunneling. Now, it's not uncommon for Apple products to have mediocre VPN apps. They are a bit more strict with what they allow, but I hate to see it happen so often. Another annoying issue I often get is with the torrenting servers. See, if you start torrenting, Surfshark will assign you to one of the torrenting servers automatically. So if you're already watching Netflix, let's say in the US, and the torrenting server is in the UK, well, it all comes crumbling down because your connection will go back to the UK on Netflix. Though this might just be on my end and you might not encounter this situation at all. So let me know in the comments below if that's the case for you. Now, honestly, none of these issues are deal breakers for me, but I'm just saying it would be nice to have all those little nuances fixed at some point. Now overall, Surfshark does have way more pros than cons with its extensive feature list, top-notch protection, and absolutely insane value for money. And since there's no limit for per perfection, I suspect Surfshark will only get even better in the future, especially when those minor cons will eventually all get patched up. Now if you're a Surfshark user, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have any questions at all about Surfshark or VPNs in general, be sure to comment those too. But as for this Surfshark review, that is just about it. I would highly recommend this, uh, this VPN to absolutely anyone. It is one of my top VPNs for the last three years running. And yeah, it is just great. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more content just like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.